Worship him, worship him, worship him. He has much people in that city. He has you in that city. He has me in this city. Amen. In this city, we praise God. Ghana, we praise God today. Nigeria, we praise God. America, we praise God. China, we praise God. Colombia, we praise God. Bredeli Garbadoza, Le Garbadoza, Le Garbadoza. Bredeli Garbadoza, Bredeli Garbadoza, Bredeli Garbadoza, Bredeli Garbadoza, Bredeli Garbadoza, Lendeli Garbadoza, Bredeli Garbadoza, Brado de Garbadoza, Brodo Linde, Legede, Legede Garbadoza, Bredeli Garbadoza. Brede Ligar Barosa, 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 Brede Ligar are there worshippers in the house? Oh God! One day, leg the baro, but ne leg the baro. Three day, leg the leg the leg the baro, the leg the baro. One day, leg the baro. Three 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 Prende le carbarose, 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 Prende le carabarose, 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 Brede le garbarosa Mende le garbarosa Brada le garbarosa Lede le garbarosa Lende le garbarosa Lende le garbarosa Lende le garbarosa Le garbarosa le garbarosa Brede le garbarosa Bossi 
Lende le garbaro sha. Landa le garbaro Rada la galera usa Lende le galera usa Lende le gede le galera usa Rede le galera usa Lende le galera usa Lende le galera le galera usa Lende le galera usa Lende le there is fire on the altar right now. There is fire on the altar right now. There is a fire on the altar. In the name of Jesus. Listen, brethren. You know, you know, there are a lot of people that argue about giving tight, you know. Adeboy came out yesterday and is apologizing a few days ago about that mm -hmm. if you don't pay tight you go to hell and um uh i feel people should commend him for correcting that error the people are rather uh some people are mocking him and say oh uh he has to confess more blah 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 i don't know but it takes a lot of humility to confess mm -hmm. that but i don't know why people are excited that Somebody is telling them that they don't have to give to God. Mm. I don't know why that is such a good news. Mm -hmm. That some preachers gang up together and tell you that. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's not good to give. It's not good to give. And you too, you are excited. Just think about it. If somebody advise you don't give to your wife or to your lover. Are, are they encouraging you to have a good marriage mm. if somebody is uh, encouraging you don't give to your dad your dad is old who took care of you don't give him money you are excited you are excited you are happy would you be happy that your dad is 80 year old you are 40 and somebody is telling you you know you don't have to give to all these old men Are you going to think that person is your friend? And this is how you know people's hearts that they don't even know God. Because if you if 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 you truly know God and you need a person to tell you to give him, <laughs> then I don't know what kind of God is that. Nobody tells me to give my mother, my <laughs> father. Nobody has ever advised you to give people you love money or mm. time. So why are you excited? Well, tight is wrong. There's no need for us to take tight. God don't need nobody's money. And you so you're excited. Yay! Hey, my God don't need money. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> don't you think that makes sense at all? But you see, most people can't give. They can't worship either. Even if you told them, okay, for instance, I told people last few weeks that even if you think you can't give money or you don't have money to give, not that you can't, but can you truly worship God in, in English language, in, in your language, with the words of your mouth, with your time? The same people We'll be looking for a preacher to tell them you don't need to give God time, and they will be saying, Yay, we don't need to give God time. Until the preacher tell them you don't need God, and they will say, Yay. You see, they are gradually talking them out of their relationship with God, and they don't even know it. Yet the Bible writes in Genesis, told you Abel offered a more excellent sacrifice and they are asking for 10 percent 
and you are happy that somebody is saving you from 10%. You are happy that somebody is telling you, you don't even need to give the 10%, as small as that is. But the Bible told you that David said, I will give to God what, uh, what costs me a lot. So you can see. But I know no true Christian would ever yeah. celebrate that somebody is teaching them not to give. You see, I'm bold to say these things. We don't announce offering on this pulpit like that. We every now and then, you know, we'll tell you, we encourage you to give. And I'm encouraging right now to keep giving. And I thank God for those who are giving. So those who do, we, do, we don't have to force. And do you know why we don't we don't force people? Because if we have to force you, we don't even believe that offering has power. But if you give it from your heart, we believe it has weight. And the kind of offering we want to take on this pulpit is the one that has weight. Not the one we twist your arms backward to collect from you. Because God is worthy of our praise. And if you can't worship him with more than 10%, or 10%, what kind of God is that? What kind of God? And what kind of preacher are these preachers? What kind of preachers are these? Do they even talk to God? Do they even know God? Praise God. Hallelujah. Go watch those preachers. Just study them properly and study their finances. You understand. I, I will leave it at that. But even if you say you don't have money, give God something equivalently as powerful. And when we announce, let's worship God. When we announce it, begin to worship. David built a house for God. I mean, David said, I want to build you a house. God says, stop, don't. That's a man like you and me. A whole house. God said, I say, stop. I say, stop. Your son will build it for me. God was begging some people to stop giving. You, they are begging you to give. <laughs> <laughs> Opposite. Yeah, yeah. And some preacher told you tithe is wrong and you're celebrating. Yay! They say, I shouldn't give that. Oh, Father, help us. Help us. How many so. people are ready to give God? That your God is worthy of your praise. Can, can I get a hallelujah this morning? Hallelujah. That your God is worthy of my praise. Hallelujah. My God is worthy of my praise. Hallelujah. hallelujah. Say, say to somebody, say, my God is worthy of Hallelujah. my praise. Hallelujah. My Come God on. is worthy of my Thank God there is none like you in the heavens and the earth. Hallelujah. If I have more than tight, I will worship you. Hallelujah. If I have more than 10%, I will worship you. Hallelujah. Come on, let's do this song together. There is none like you. Let's go. Ship you. Oh my God, there is nothing like you. I worship. Talk to him. Talk to him. Oh Prince of Peace, that is all I Let's do it. I want to Yes. Oh my, my God. God. Talk to him. Yes. There is none. Yes. That's the loudest. Oh. Like you. Tell him no one else can touch my heart. No one else can touch 
Tell him no one can talk you out of giving him praise. Award the praise. Tell him I can search through all eternity and I can find none like him. Yes. Everybody, let's do it together. Come on, let's sing it. <laughs> my heart like you do. Can you tell Jesus? There's none like him for your heart. Walk around your room and praise him. Walk around your room and praise him. Come on. There is none like you. Talk to him. Telling you search all the universe, you can find none like Jesus. All your countries, you search your nation. Oh. There is none like Jesus. Bread the land of bread is Harbadoza. Begin to praise him, begin to praise him, begin to praise him. Just, just enjoy the presence as you praise him. Bread the land of bread is Harbadoza. Come on. Bread the land of bread. 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 I dare not three people on the line. I dare five. I dare ten. Let it be heavy. Let it be heavy. Let it be heavy. Don't be a spectator. Don't be a spectator. Bring the new deliverer. Bring the new deliverer. Bring the new deliverer. Bring the new deliverer. There is one of you. Oh, everybody worship in love. Lift up your voice, lift up your voice, lift up your voice. Lift up your voice, lift up your voice, lift up your voice. Up your voice. Hallelujah. This is what you came to do to stand for Jesus. To stand and worship it. Wherever you are. Hallelujah. We don't have that much time. Make it count. Make it count. Hallelujah. Let your voice be heard. Hallelujah. Open your mouth. Hallelujah. Bredo Zeli Conte Zalido. Oh, Zeli Caro Zeli Caro Zi. Rino Londre Barosa. Oh, don't, don't be a spectator. Hallelujah. There's going to be a promotion. There's going to be a power. 
There's going to be your grace. There's going to be your grace. There's going to be your grace. In the name of Jesus. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. You know, I love it. The Bible says, Abel offered to Cain. Man of God, can you even turn to the book of Luke, chapter 24, 53? I'm going to move very fast this morning because we have like seven prayer points or eight. Mm-hmm. Yet, I still want to play a video clip. So, I don't know if that's going to be done. And I don't feel we have worshipped enough either. Hallelujah. You know, when you tell people to worship, sometimes I wonder this, this drag sometimes. Why? Why is there a drag? Don't you just see that is right? That is what the enemy is using against us. Mm. We are so fluent when we complain. We are so real when we worry, but when we worship, it's like, uh, I don't know. Are you following me? Mm. Come on, give him real praise. This more real, real heavy praise, glory. You didn't come to us for too many prayer points. I mean, uh, begging God for things, but you came to worship him. So that he can, you know, you got to understand. Worship is like setting fire, uh, starting the engine of your car. They told you in the combustion chamber of the engine is fire. If you look at the combustion chamber, it's nothing there than fire. You know what make your car move? It's fire. Nothing in there. It's just a fire that is controlled. When you press your leg on the gas, what happens is that you're releasing fuel into the fire. It burns more. The car burns, the fire burns more, the car moves faster. When you press the brake, you're cutting off the fuel. You press the brake, it's not just the tire you're slowing down, you're also cutting off the fuel. So if you want to move fast, you got to set fire. Your train, your airplane, they are nothing but fire. Controlled fire. They are combustions. Hallelujah. So your Monday has to be combustible Monday. (laughs) Praise and worship is a fire combustion. And if you don't start the fire, the car ain't going to move. The airplane is not going to move. The train is not going to move. All these things are just fire, controlled fire. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. So you got to worship God. Some people are devil conscious. When I say pray against devil now, oh, devil, 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 devil. No, come on. Don't be devil conscious. Relax. Some people are enemy mm-hmm. conscious. So I pray, pray, enemy, enemy, enemy. Come on, why are you? Hey, hey, <laughs> relax, brother. <laughs> <laughs> some, people, some people are lack conscious when I say pray for your life oh father father my life hey what's wrong with you sister what lack the Bible says you shall supply all our needs mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, when I say battle some people are battle conscious oh every battle 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 what battle are you talking about go on to enter to your rest some people are sin conscious that's the reason they can't worship God. Devil conscious, enemy conscious, lack conscious, battle conscious, sin conscious. What kind of consciousness is that? That's a terrible consciousness. Who's, who here this morning is Jesus conscious? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> Wash it in, in Luke chapter 24, verse 53. Bible saying, and we're continually in the temple. Are you seeing on the screen? Luke chapter 24, verse 53. And were when, when they didn't know Jesus was alive, they were crying, all of them. But the moment Mary told them that Jesus was alive, 
and they saw Jesus. Come on, from that moment, they were no longer sorrow conscious, enemy conscious, battle conscious, lack conscious, like so many Christians are today. Watch what happened. And, 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 and they worshipped him. Verse 52. And returned to Jerusalem with great joy. Watch it. And were continually in the temple praising and blessing God. They don't have the story many Christians have. Oh, enemy, enemy. Father, father, father. Blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus. What are you talking about? They don't sprinkle blood of Jesus on people. <laughs> you know, some people are sprinkling blood. Mm. You need to understand only one person has power to sprinkle that blood, and that's Jesus himself. Hey, I don't want to lose you this morning, yeah. children. I don't want to lose you. Hallelujah. Amen. How many Amen. people is Jesus conscious? Amen. You are victory conscious. You are glory conscious. You are, yeah. you are that your needs are met, that your victory is won. Hallelujah. hallelujah. And you feel like all you want to sing is hallelujah to him. Hallelujah. Just worship him. Worship him. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Yeah. Let's talk to him and worship him with this song. Hallelujah. Yes. Whatever you are, stand up, walk around your room, lay your faith if you have to. Hallelujah. Come on. Hallelujah. Hey. I just want to praise him. I want to praise him. I know my victory is won. I know my needs are met. I know it. Come on, let's do it. I know my sins are taken away as far as the east is from the west. I know my sicknesses and disease are healed. I'm conscious of that. Come on, let's do it. I know he will supply my needs according to his riches and glory. I know it. Come on. If you can pray, at least you can sing hallelujah, whatever you are. Hallelujah. <laughs> Rende li garbaro, brande li garbaro usha. Rende li gado, brande li gando bredi. Rende li garbaro, zonto li garbaro. Worship him, worship him. Let's do it. Hallelujah. Oh my God. Come on, let's do it. Hallelujah. Rain 
Bless him, bless him, whatever you are. Come on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God, praise God, praise God. Praise God, praise God. Hallelujah. Glory, 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 glory. And I was sharing on the line and I shared that that there are a lot of people last week interlude on turning point i just want to take one prayer from that and and then we're going to play that clip uh that pastor clement has with him hallelujah amen yeah yeah but before i say that i want to say that a lot of people give out of lust that's why they don't receive anything and that's why when men of God come and say, don't give, they're happy. They're happy. And when pastors don't announce giving, they are happy. And when pastors announce giving, sometimes they are sad. Some people give out of the law. Under the law. Out of the law. They have to give. And some people give out of love. Don't forget these three things I'm saying right now. In the Old Testament, they give out of law. In other words, it was mandatory for them to give. God forced them to give. And why? Because they weren't born again. They, were, they had a stubborn spirit. And until Christ came... There was nothing God can do but about their stubborn spirit. So they had to be forced to give. That would be a law to give. Because God wanted to bless them. And God knew that they would never give on their own will. Because they had a will that is corrupted. So they were forced to give. That's why tithing was a law for the Israelite. For Abraham, it was not a law. But for the Israelite, it was a law. Because of their corrupted spirit. The Bible said these people are stiff-necked people. And But Moses I had to bless them. And I know they would never give on their own. So I wanted to make it mandatory for them to give. So almost all they are giving, not just tight, was mandatory. They gave out of law. But though it was mandatory to them, they gave. And they were blessed. And though they were given out of force, out of compulsion, they were blessed. But in the New Testament, you are supposed to give out of love, not out of law anymore, out of love for God. So if you are not given out of the law, you ought to give out of love. But they are a third group. Who give out of lust. Mm -hmm. And let me tell you, the church is filled of 90 something percent given out of lust. You know why they give? Mm -hmm. God, the pastor oh. said that if I sow $500, I'm going to give 5000 That That man over there with beauty house, it's because he gave. So they're giving because they are greedy for wealth. They are greedy for things. Not because they love God. No, no. Not because they heard the voice of God forcing them to give or mandatory, mandating them to give. No. This is the fact that they want to have something so they got to bargain with God. These are the three classes of givers we have. These are the three classes of givers we have. So that is why when you say worship sometimes, because people don't have anything you are promising them, they can't worship God. You got to promise us something, man. If you don't promise us anything, why should we worship him? Why should I? There's nothing in for me. You know what Judas Iscariot said when they, he got to the Pharisees? 
They said, can you get us Jesus? He said, what is there for me to get? That's what Judas asked him. Go read the Bible. Mm -hmm. What is there for me? We have that spirit in the church today. What is there for me? There's nothing there for me. I don't feel like doing that. But there are people this morning who know that God, there's so much that God is worthy of worship. God is worthy of our praise. And that if he has done nothing, if he wouldn't even do nothing else for you again, he has done more than enough. If you're a witness, hallelujah. I want you to tell him that God, if you have done, if you wouldn't even do anything more for me, you have done more than enough for me. I want to open your mouth and communicate with him. Hallelujah. I said, that I love you more than money. I love you more than house. I love you more than wives and children. I love you for you. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. And communicate with him in few words. Hallelujah. Come on, let's do it. Yes, Lord. I stand in the oh. I feel God is killing somebody of endemer disease. Endemer. I hear endemer. It's a part of that person's body swollen. It's a chronic disease. It's a chronic disease. I don't know if that person's on the line this morning. Well, I don't know if that person will be listening to this broadcast, but I'm telling you, the Lord is healing you of endema. It's a disease. There's a part of your chest all swollen. Hallelujah. But I see this person. Come on, come on, everybody. I stand. Him wherever you are, I stand. Lindo Brady Carbadoja, Bore de la Garbadoja. I see somebody with a cut that wouldn't heal. That's a cut that wouldn't heal. But the Lord is healing that cut right now. But no, like Garbadoja, it's under your arms. It's a cut. Bando le garabaroja le garabaroja is infected, but the Lord is healing you. Rendo bredi garabaroja, bredi le garabaroja, bredi le garabaroja. Come on, worship him. Oh, I worship. I worship him. Oh God, come on. Yes. I don't hear you worship. Come on. Oh, you see Jesus. All you want to do is worship him. Trust me. When you see devil on the floor, all you want to do is worship it. When you know devil has lost the battle, all you want to do is worship it. Hallelujah. If you know you were purchased by the blood of Jesus and redeemed from the curse of the law, all you want to do is worship it. Hallelujah. Come on. Let God's head swell this morning. Hey. Oh. Talk to him, talk to him, all the way, all the way, all the way, all the way, all the Repeat, repeat, let's go. God needs your praise. 
God is training you to worship. God is training us to worship. That's all I can say this morning. God is training us to worship. And God is making us to see why, why many of us need to be strong in worship. Praise God. Praise God. And I prayed, uh, I shared on the line the other day, and I said that um, there are four places of initiation. There are a lot of people have been initiated. They are initiated into trouble. I want you to notice. When we're baptized, we're baptized out of trouble into Christ. But when you went back to that church or that hospital or that school, you were rebaptized into the world of troubles. Mm. Because, yes, I, I got to let you understand these things because we shut that woman. She, that woman said for them to get crowd in schools, in hospital, in churches, and for those acting movies, the same thing, Nigerian movies, African movies, they go to initiate so that people can watch that movie. And as many as are watching these movies are initiated. As many mm -hmm. as goes into that hospital are initiated. As many as goes to that church are initiated. And as many as go to that school are initiated. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you. The only, you got to understand this. The only way God has laid down to control fellow human beings is by prayer by teaching and by love so if you want to control your wife or you want to control your husband or your children you only have three tools that god has given you prayer teaching and loving them praying for them teaching them and loving them if you do and for little children corporal punishment which means spanking them hitting them little if you do anything outside these four, you are a witch. In order to control any human being, if you don't, if you don't stick to these four that I mentioned, and you're doing anything outside that, you're practicing witchcraft. <laughs> so if 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 you act a movie and you want a lot of people to watch that movie, all you can do is to talk about the movie, pray about the movie, and and and, and, and show love to people you want to watch your movie. If you have hospital, have a good human service, customer service, pray about the hospital that you want patients to come or patients to be healed in that hospital and teach about the, the uh, whatever you're doing. Mm. If you have a church, teach very well, pray very well, and love your church people. If you do anything outside that, you're a witch pastor, you're a witch doctor, you're a witch movie producer, you're a witch and what you're doing is that you're allowing devil to initiate you and use you to initiate so many people that watch that movie and so many people that come to that hospital and now people are not healed people are constantly sick and they're constantly going back to the hospital over and over again uh oh mm -hmm. I, I i don't know I, I don't know if you understand what i'm talking about that that is what we did in the interlude that, that's what we did in the interlude uh, last week. Man of God, can you be turn to a scripture? Very popular scripture. I know you all know it. And we're just going to pray in tongues. Um, trying to manage the time properly. Isaiah 59, 49, 24 to 26. I'm not sure if you can watch the video because I don't want to use all the time to to do this. You know, the way you're dragging worship this morning, it, <laughs> it's oh. not just... <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. <laughs> the video will just make us more relaxed. Hallelujah. But Isaiah 49, 20. Can we, can we read that quickly? Shall the prey be taken from the mighty for Thank the you. love of 
have to deliver it. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Thank you. Go ahead. Go ahead. But thus says the Lord, even the captives of the mighty shall be taken away, and the prey of the terrible shall be delivered. For I will contend with him that contendeth with thee, and I will save thy children. Hallelujah. So what we're praying for last week was that as there are many people who have been initiated. They are Christians. And you may say, but I cannot be initiated. But if you don't know enough to go to that place, then you are, that means you don't know enough not to be initiated. Somebody follow me. So we want to decontaminate our lives. We want to decontaminate us as us from every conscious or unconscious association with these agents of initiation. Are you following me? Mm -hmm. Conscious and unconscious associations with these agents or agencies that are being used to initiate. And I should, I should pray this prayer this morning. The Lord Almighty will cleanse you from all unrighteousness, from all uncleanness that come as a result of being in that place or being in those places. Hallelujah. The God Amen. Almighty will begin to deliver. There's a moment of deliverance right now as you pray that prayer in the name of Jesus Christ. All right, going to begin to repent. Hallelujah. Of every contamination. You're going to repent of all contamination and begin to ask for cleansing. Begin to ask for cleansing. Begin to ask for cleansing. as you are praying this prayer every contamination is removing renounce the devil renounce his work 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 in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. You know, I really, yes, we're going to take that prayer. I, will, I think we can still have five minutes to watch the two clips. We'll probably just watch one. Hallelujah. I'm going to let the man of God play in a minute. And if we can have two minutes to pray as we close, that's fine. Just hope we are, we're following along as we, we, whatever we're sharing right now. I, I'm believing that God is touching you. This lady confessed she was a movie actress. She confessed how she traveled to different places in Africa and how she exposed the industry that most of them for their movies to sell, they have to perform rituals and everything like that. And some school teachers, school proprietors mm. and businesses, not just schools. Or I'm going to have a lot of customers, they initiate. And your children went, go to this school. That's why some children die. That's why you see all this uh, children get sick and all these problems that's happening and some children never amount to anything because you cannot trade with the devil and think you're going to make any profit it doesn't it's never going to work it's going to one way or the other and most people who are ignorant are the victim there's a guy that was was my friend when i just came to america i don't know if he's been on this line i told you how god later blessed him 
And one day I saw a necklace with him. And I said, where did you get this necklace? He said, oh, a lady who has a store gave it to him or he bought it from oh. the store. And it's, I can't remember the story right now, but I don't know if God showed me something. I can't remember if God showed me something. And I said, you know what? Let me have the necklace. I took the necklace and I threw it away. That was all I did. He was was not happy with me. The end of his problem. But I told him, I said, this thing is a problem. You've been initiated. And, and, and in less than three weeks, he was moving from... And one of the reasons, he was, he was homeless at the time I saw him. He was homeless. I'm literally homeless. And right here in America, he was homeless. He would go into houses that are yet to be rented house out. And he would open the windows somehow and enter into those houses and sleep there. And the morning before anybody woke up, he would get out and go and hustle. That's what he was doing. When I removed that, oh. the man in, in less than two weeks, everything turned around for him. And I said, because you were initiated by this thing. He was a Jamaican. And I said, all these things you guys carry all around, initiated. A lot of people don't know enough. And let me tell you, if you are walking with the Holy Ghost, nothing they do to you will work. But most people are not walking with the Holy Ghost. They are not walking in the Word. So it will work. If you go to those schools, those hospitals, those places, watch those movies, it will work. Many people cannot stop living in sin because of the movies they watch. Not because the movie itself is wrong, but these things are initiated. And those who watch these things will never be free from sin. It doesn't matter what they do. Open your mouth and pray against all forms of contamination in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And renounce every hidden works of darkness that is done in your body in the name of Jesus. Every spell upon my life, I cancel it. Every baptism upon my life, and baptize in the name of Jesus. I rebaptize into Christ. I renounce the work of darkness. I renounce the work of darkness. I cancel the work of darkness. I free myself from the work of darkness. I deliver. I'm delivered by the power of the Holy Ghost from the works of darkness. I am set free by the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I remove your contamination. I am delivered by the power of the Holy Ghost from the works of darkness. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Uh, why the man of God try to play the clip? Please.
play play the first one i share this with you it's just a repeat i just wanted to see the video and if we have two minutes at the end of the day we can still pray tomorrow we are doing an interlude which is titled uh you and me in typology hallelujah mm -hmm. look like the bible school stuff but it's not it's very effective in our life you and me in typology don't miss it and on october 30th we're going to be praying tongue for 12 hours six hours interval we're going to split it into six hours and six hours if you can't do all the six hours do try 30 one hour two hours three hours as much as you can do tongue is the only what man of god can you project it and let me know if you're ready the only gift you can turn on and off is the gift of tongue at will the only gift in the bible you can turn on and off the only gift and it is the only gift that turns on every other gift is the only gift in the video you're going to watch you're going to see the woman i told you when you enter tongue you enter into four hours you break into the realms of visions by the time you are praying and so those of you can pray in tongues, this is your opportunity to come and receive the baptism of the holy ghost during october 30th and for you those who have been praying in tongues, but you only pray for two seconds three minutes this is a time for you to train yourself and really see the benefit and the power of tongues unleash hallelujah glory Amen. be to god so you need to pray and the food of tongue is the bible so for the whole of october we're going to pray a whole lot in tongues we're going to be reading a whole lot of the bible because we are turning the tide we're turning the tide of things we want things to go our direction as the year comes to an end and october is that month when we will be sure that we're turning things around so it's going to be it's going to be a month of a lot of prayers this woman son died and you're going to listen to the testimony in a minute just a five minute the only word the first one is five minutes and she began to pray in tongue and she broke into that realm you will listen to her say she broke into that realm and i told you when you enter first 15 minutes that is battle after the next one hour is deliverance the next one hour is building up the next one hour you break into the realm of visions and manifestations that is the time start hearing voices if you pray in tongues hallelujah can we listen to that man of god can you go ahead and play if you if you have it my adopted son when he was one month old died from sudden infant death syndrome and there's there's no cure for that his heart and his lungs literally exploded and his lungs came up out of his nose and Everything in his body died. Tell me about the conditions in the hospital. Well, when the first hospital that my husband took him to, rushed him to, they didn't have oxygen. The next one, um, they had to make a makeshift oxygen tent if, for him. But you heard something from God that kept pushed you forward. What did you hear? I was praying in my supernatural language and because Marcos was rushed out of the door and I couldn't be there with him, with my husband or Marcos, but I just went into my room and I was praying my heavenly language. And as I was praying, I broke through into the manifested presence of God and he called me by name and he said, Becky. And I looked up and I said, what? And he said, you need to come against the spirit of death over Marcos now. I didn't know what was going on with Marcos at all. And then so I just heard myself say, in Jesus' name, I renounce the spirit of death and I release the spirit of life to flow into I'm Marcos now. Did anyone teach you to pray that way? No, nobody taught me that. I just know that, and I read it in the word where Jesus sent his word and it healed the people. And then I heard God speak to me again in an audible voice. And he said, now, Becky, I want you to speak to Marcos's spirit directly. The Holy Spirit had been teaching me healing through all these long fasts and all of that. I heard myself say, Marcos, I know there's a distance in the physical realm, but in the spirit realm, there's no distance. Marcos, I need you to start breathing on your own now. And I, and I heard myself say, breathe, breathe, breathe. I didn't know he had already been pronounced dead. Nobody was with him. They no longer were working on him. 
but God was giving me direction, he was leading me and guiding me, and he'll do it for anybody. And Marcos did come back to life. I mean, nobody was with him. I mean, and the heart is exploded, it didn't stop, it exploded. And so that's impossible. And there's no doctor on this earth that can fix that, except we have the yes. doctor of all doctors. And I, and I, I'm, just, <laughs> I'm, I'm just really curious about something, Becky. God was directing you step by step, but I know because I am too, I'm human, you're human. Your mother, your son is dying or dead when, when you're praying. Did you deal with doubt and fear and this isn't going to work or it'll work for others and it won't work for me? Did any of that go through your mind? Not at that point. I have to be honest with you. I oh. had, I was praying in the, in, in my supernatural language and I had, I had pressed into where I was in the manifested presence of God. And when you get there, there is no doubt. There's no unbelief. There's none of that. He was speaking mm -hmm. directly to me and it was that childlike faith that just said, what, what? And I did exactly what he said. Praise God. Praise God. Did you hear that? Twice mm. she repeated it. She said, I broke into Thank you, man of God. I break into the supernatural prayer. So that means you must have been speaking in tongues for a while until you get into that realm. And she said, in that realm, there's no doubt. In that realm, you start hearing voices and the, the mm. voice of the Holy Spirit. Mm. Sometimes you pray for only two minutes and you don't see the benefit. You need to pray more than an hour to two hours to start seeing the benefits of tongues. Hallelujah. Open your mm -hmm. mouth and just begin to ask God for grace and strength this October, the whole of October, to begin to pray. Hallelujah. I know Come on, I can't hear you. I can't hear you. Pray in tongues. If you can pray in tongues, I hear you. Pray, 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 pray. She had a dead raised back to life as she moved into the realm of the glory. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Wakey, wakey, people. Arise and shine, for light has come. Amen. Amen.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I love that song. The song says that he will do what? He would. <laughs> he will come after you if you're lost. That song is just so powerful. The 99, he would leave and look for that one that is gone astray. The Lord is speaking to us. In fact, he is, he is, he is. And um, um, let me just, um, let me look at the time. One, give us five minutes of your time because I have a few announcements I have to give this morning. So first of all, good morning, everyone. I want to hear your voices. Good morning. Good morning. Good Grace morning. and peace. Good morning. Let's see who is awake. Good Grace and peace. Good Hallelujah. Good morning. Good morning, brother Claude. I'm going to start. I'm going to start welcoming people so that you can arise and wake up so we can talk. Hallelujah, brother Claude. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, brother Claude. It's good to hear your voice. You're awake. Um, Evangelist Monroe, are you awake? I'm, I'm doing it differently. Grace and peace. Thank you. I'm doing it differently today. Allow me. Hallelujah. Evangelist Ngozi, I could hear your voice. So I knew you were praying. I know you're wide awake. Hallelujah. Grace bless and peace. Bless you. God bless everyone. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. I need I need some background music. Hallelujah. <laughs> Pastor Beatrice, grace and peace. Good morning. Pastor Beatrice, grace and peace. Because I want you guys to hear the announcement. Good morning. Good morning. Hallelujah. She's awake as well. Okay, I'm going to change. We need instrumental. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sister Sabina, grace and peace. Are you awake? Good morning. Good morning. awake. Okay, then it means that you guys are praying, but maybe you're praying within. Thank God. Sister, if yeah, I could hear you praying all the way from Ghana. I know you're wide awake. Grace and peace unto you. We love you. Amen. Amen. I love you all. Amen. 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 Um, who else do we have next? Sister Stacy, my beloved. Grace and peace. Hallelujah. Sister Stacy. You didn't you didn't you, you didn't go on transit. <laughs> Hallelujah. Good morning. Um, Brother Ken, all the way from Ghana. I, I know you're wide awake because it's about 11 o'clock in Ghana right now. Grace and peace to you. Hallelujah. Um, then I have Brother Israel from, from um, Nigeria. Are you awake? Grace and peace. Hallelujah, he is awake. Amen. Um, uh, Pastor Julius, grace and peace. Sister Christy, Sister Susanna, grace and peace. This is the announcement. Before the announcement, let me just remind you for two most important things the man of God said. People give out of lust. People give out of the law. People give out of love. We choose to be people who give out of love. Don't ever forget. Hallelujah. May the grace of giving come upon us in the name of Jesus. You might give your time. You can give your substance. You can give. You can give. It doesn't have to be money. It can be your time and it can be your talent. What are you good at? Give it to God. Let God use you. Hallelujah. As a vessel of instrument. So that don't ever forget that momentum Monday. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Are we there? Hello. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Then the four things um, he talked about by prayer, by teaching, by loving them. Hallelujah. And then we prayed against every contamination. So in Jesus name, if in any way we are contaminated, as we hear the word of God, may we be delivered in the name of Jesus. May we be delivered in the name of Jesus from the inside out. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Oh my God. Hallelujah. Okay, announcement. We are coming to New York. Do I have the New Yorkers on this altar this morning? I want to hear your voices. Yeah. Hallelujah. Uh, we are going to be having a physical program. Hallelujah. We're going to be having a physical program. If you want to meet us, please. Hallelujah. Of November. 
Let me make sure I get got the dates right. Exactly a month from today. Let me put it that way. Um, yes, November 8th and 9th. Um, so exactly a month. Hallelujah. Prepare yourself. And I, I, we're putting this out there. Those in Maryland, if you want to go, please give me your names. Those of you who would love to go. Hallelujah. It is open to anyone, everyone. If you're in New York, if you're in Boston, if you're in Pennsylvania, I'm, I'm just mentioning the surrounding um, states, um, Connecticut, you are most welcome. We will give you the details of the address, the location, and the time. It's going to be a, the weekend of um, November 8th and 9th. Hallelujah. If you want to put that in your calendar. And by God's grace, um, you get to meet Pastor Mark. You get to meet Pastor Serge and Pastor Adu. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 You be excited. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Pastor Clement. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Amen. So this is the announcement for today. We'll continue to announce it in case you drifted off or you're distracted. You didn't hear me. We'll announce it again tomorrow with a little more detail. God bless everybody. Today's Momentum Monday. Go out there and remember to meditate. We hear the word faith comes by what hearing and hearing and hearing mm -hmm. again mm -hmm. hallelujah go back and replay god bless everyone this month is that month of what turning the tide hallelujah we are turning things around amen god bless everyone let's share the grace hallelujah i did this in five minutes may the grace of our lord jesus christ amen. the love of god and the sweet, sweet, sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, 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 God's goodness and mercy following us all the days of our lives. And we are dwelling not just in the house, but in his presence, in wisdom, in love, in righteousness, and in the word forever and ever. Ever. Amen and amen. God bless everyone. Amen. We'll see you again tomorrow morning. Topology, you don't want to miss it. Share the flyer with someone. Hallelujah. God bless everyone. Amen. Let's go back to that song. Oh, I'm going to send it to Pastor Clement. You are God from beginning to the end. There's no place for argument. You are God all by yourself. You are God from beginning to the end. There's no place for argument. You are God all by yourself.